Hi Pisces. I have a reading for you guys. Um, I've been really busy. I haven't been feeling too good. Um, I, I, yeah, I, just, that's, I haven't been feeling good. I've had some health uh, stuff going on. Um, I'll probably tell you guys later, but not right now. Um, anyways, so I'm sorry I haven't been on. I'm sorry if I haven't responded to my clients. Uh, there's one client in regards to the bike. Um, I want it. I do want it. Um, I will text you after. Um, what else? I have another client that texts me as well that I wasn't able to read. I will also text you after this. Uh, that particular client does know what's going on. Okay, so getting right into it. Pisces, Pisces. You start off with... First of all, you're crowned with the Empress. Oh my God, how funny. I just mentioned you and you just texted me and this is not even live. That's so cool. Connected. Um, I don't want my grandparents to get here. Um, and the Hierophant, okay? So this is something, this can actually, with the Empress, there's the chariot here as well. So that could actually be a physical birth. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but this can also represent that there's some kind of involvement with the woman of your dreams if you are a male Pisces, okay? Um, you're not being very nice to a certain group of people. I feel Pisces with this uh, Six of Pentacles here and the Five of Swords and the Four of Swords. You're taking advantage of, a, of, the, of lesser privileged people like the homeless or um, just, I don't know how to say it without, I don't want to sound rude, but you know, people that are not, like homeless people, like if, you know what I mean? Like that's people that are less fortunate pretty much. Somehow, some way you're taking advantage of them. Um, I don't know like how that would even play in, but that's what the card, I even looked that one up because I was actually at a loss. Um, but that's actually what I've seen. So, uh, I don't know what's going on there. But with the four of swords here as well, I feel like you're also, there's been some kind of a fight. There's been some kind of a blow up that you were part of with this particular group of people. I don't know if maybe you were out drinking with friends or you were at partying or whatever and then you passed by and there was maybe a few uh, people that you know sleep on the streets and you got argued with them or something happened because there was a fight here. There was an argument, um, an unfair fight, okay? And I feel like somebody got injured because you're resting. That you, you didn't, it didn't work out well. And I feel like you are re-energizing, re re, you know? Rehabilitating, I think the word. I can't really talk right now. I don't know what's wrong with my fucking brain. But um, I'll have my makeup. <sighs> I'm all over the place right now. Anyways, Pisces. Okay, so I do have some good stuff. Here, I can tell you that right now. There's somebody that you're secretly admiring, though. That's for sure. There's somebody that you may have almost an obsession with, in regards with the Lenormand. Okay, because I also pulled the stork, the tower, the lily, is shadowed by the book. The book is knowledge, obsession, um, infatuation, black magic, uh, could be going to school, uh, stuff like that. The stork as well as, as, if you've been having financial problems, the stork is bringing you, as of the moment you pull this card, it's it's a change for the better. It's almost like it's, I don't, I'm not feeling like there's work here. I feel like you're struggling financially, but I feel like it's about to change. The stork brings all kinds of gifts. The stork brings babies. Uh, change in finances, job opportunities, stuff of that sort, okay? With the tower, you may have some legal issues soon. If there is, if the stork for you guys, take it how it resonates, represents a child, then there may be some kind of legality here because the tower can be a government building, um, a high-rise building, okay? Uh, maybe you could have gotten a, you know, an invite to go somewhere in one of those cool L.A. buildings, you know? Not just L.A., I just said, because that's where I live. Um, there may even be some type of legality in regards to a father figure even something in the book something that's uh, documented um, something that's official okay uh, involving a parent a paternal with that lily You might be going with somebody to keep them company for you know a court day or something or it could just be for male pisces um with this empress here crowning you're very sexual right now i feel like you are very sexually liberated i feel you might even be bisexual um because she's a very open woman this is like a business woman this is a mature very sophisticated very uh, on top of her game she's very grounded when it comes to sex 
whereas the high priestess is more spiritual um sex with sexual undertones but this woman is a very i mean she bleeds sex appeal okay that's what this empress is about so it could be somebody you have your eye on it could be the mother of your child it could be um a relationship between mother and child as well because uh, there are two women here with the strength card this is the leo card this is the fire sign um, and the empress is any sign that's ruled by venus so it could be taurus um not too sure which other signs are ruled by Venus. I, I know they're there, but I can't think of it. Libra, I think. Um, you have a lot of yellows, which is good. Very calming. I feel like you're trying to find a peace of mind. You're trying to find a sense of calm. With the chariot and the fool, you might be kind of running amok, which is why you're trying to find some kind of calm. Because I feel like you've been kind of living, like, like you know, like rock, rock and roll bands when they kind of go on tour? That's what that's kind of about. Like living on the streets, living on the road. Um like a gypsy you know what i mean that's what that's about but with the hair on here you know that there needs to be a stop to this because with his hands up like he's pretty much saying we need to get some order here like this is not gonna this is what the fuck am i doing okay i feel like enough things have kind of fallen apart really fast with this fight and then maybe this woman and then moving fast with the chariot you could be doing some foolish decision making um i feel like you're trying to tame the beast inside you though with the strength card um but before the calm has to come the storm you know what i mean and i feel like that's where you're you're kind of in the storm right now because these two cards are underneath uh the chariot and the fool and the, the pentacles and the sword so underneath the fight and underneath the fast movement you have trying to tame that beast and trying to rest so I feel like you're going to go through a burnout if you're not already going through a burnout. How funny, you know what, I was looking at the wrong deck. This is not even, you don't have the book, you have the fish, I'm sorry. The fish is really good, there's going to be a change in your luck, okay? This could be you making secret changes without telling people, this could be you keeping a secret. Um, this could be you getting some kind of payback, not karma, like payback monetary um without even having to do anything kind of like you forgot about it and you didn't have to lose money to make any money in this case you know what i mean you kind of got ahead god threw you a bone you know what i'm saying um i feel like you're very not so much spiritual but religious i feel like you have a strong religious foundation with this hair font here i feel like you may even be spending time in a church maybe in regards to this woman maybe with this woman maybe there's some type of answer that you're seeking maybe there's something that's invading your peace of mind You know what, I actually feel a little bit of hypocrisy with this with these two cards. I feel like this guy right here that's pretending to help, you know, the less fortunate. I feel like really he's just plotting against them, like he's trying to get close to them, but there's something that they have that he wants. Or he feels like they're an easy target. Like this is a bully, like, oh we can pick on them, who's gonna know? You know what I mean? But we can take that from them. They don't give a fuck. That's what I'm getting, because I don't feel like he's being sincere when it comes to the help he's giving you know what i mean i feel like he's kind of manipulating them like well i do i did this for you like yeah i'm a good guy and really this is like he's a bastard he's a freaking prick you know what i mean he's he's very conniving he's very calculated he knows it's an unfair fight but he doesn't care because he just wants what he wants you know whether somebody may have died because this is also a funeral card somebody may have actually gotten so hurt that they actually are in the hospital or they they passed away or you don't know because maybe you left and didn't stick around to see it but they may even have somebody may have uh, i want to say killed because of you know it's like a, it's like a viewing those swords are about to choom, fall right into him yeah and i feel like now it's just a matter of getting everybody to keep their mouth shut and everything's just happening really fast it may have been a really foolish decision uh, Pisces. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I do feel like with this chariot here and this, with the Empress, I'm, uh, the Empress's importance, I mean, she's the most beautiful card here. Um, I feel like there's two, this, I think this is leaning more towards my male Pisces, or it could be, it could be same sex oriented if it's two females. Um, but I feel like there's two women involved. They both fulfill different parts of the phone call. They both fill different voids for you, okay? But here's the problem. 
if you keep depending on these women to fill these voids, um, sooner or later, nobody wants to share their food. They're not going to want to. And these women are similar, okay? Um, this could even be your mother. People are so funny. I just got the call again. I'm sorry. Um, ay, 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 ay. These women are very similar. So that's why I said it could be your mom and it could be your partner. Um, or again, it could be the mother of a child. And it's so funny when I need a, a favor, you know, certain people don't come through. And then when they need a favor, they want to call and call and call. But, you know, there's only so many times you can burn a fucking bridge. Anyways, um, I apologize. Uh, one woman. One woman really has control over you. The other woman just hypnotizes you. This woman is just epitomizes everything you dreamt of as a child. She's like out of a magazine. This is the woman that like makes your jaw hit the floor, you know? And But this woman, look how she's holding that beast. If that beast is you, Pisces, then this woman has a strong grip on you. For whatever reason, it could be a long relationship, infinity, it could have, you know, it could have been the person you thought you were gonna spend forever with. It could be, there's no six of cups here, so I don't feel like it's a childhood thing, but I do feel like it's somebody that you planned on being with forever, okay? So I do feel that there might be trouble in paradise because of this control situation going on. And with the chariot, there's a decision that has to be made, a tough decision. You may be hoping that things will be okay and kind of leaving it in the hands of fate. And it doesn't seem like it's going to just work out the way you, you th you're thinking, okay? The fool is kind of saying, you know, kiss a rah, But it's, it's, you need to be proactive in this tough decision that has to be made, okay? Um, because they're so similar, these women. Maybe not physically, maybe not, but in the way they make you feel or in the way you feel around them, the way, the level of comfort, the way that you're able to maybe be with both of them might be what's similar. Or maybe they are, maybe they do resemble each other. Maybe they, you know, you never know. I don't know, but the cards look alike. You know, they do resemble each other. So it's almost like it makes a decision very difficult for you. Uh, one could be pregnant with this empress and one could maybe <sighs> one might be infertile even you know but nonetheless this one really wants either wants to control you or does control you okay because it seems like she's got she's holding you by the mouth okay and that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on whether you want that beast tamed. Some people, hey, if it were up to size, the fucking elephant would be the, the king of the jungle. So it's got nothing to do with the, the type of animals. Just, you know, do you want to be tamed? Do you want, do you need to be tamed? Because otherwise this person really wants to stay in control of you. She wants to show you, like, I'm the one that can, you know, keep you in, in check. Um, whereas this woman is kind of like, poof, be gone. Like, she's just... She's the shit. She knows she is, and she's the most beautiful card in the deck. She's a very sexy woman. She's a loving, nurturing. I mean, she brings abundance. She brings um. She she's a she's a badass. I like her. She's very much similar to the high priestess, like I said. Okay. What else do we have here? You have a lot of yellows. I kind of like that. Um, I don't like this side of it. This side definitely shows a, a little bit of a darker experience you know you're resting not by choice you're resting because you needed something happened that was like whoa what the fuck and you just kind of had to either run and rest or <sighs> meditating something you know you're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel like you're kind of just playing possum you know what i mean you might be avoiding something You might be shut down and not listening to your intuition, okay? Because with these swords, if these swords drop, they're going to stab at the top portion of this person. It's going to destroy his mind. It's going to destroy his throat chakra. It's going to destroy his heart chakra. He's unable to feel emotions, okay? This person is completely shut off. You're very detached. Now, something may have happened to cause that, or it just might be 
you know, it could have been this fight that triggered, you know, trauma shuts down chakras. Trauma will affect, you know, when I say shut down, I mean, it, it damages you. Um, be careful not what you say. I feel like your words have been a little bit sharp, okay? Be very careful. I feel like you're going to reap what you sow, for sure. see with this um, four of swords I feel like with this four of swords and this five of swords and the four you, you're living a carefree life you're not really somebody that's um, you're not there's a lot of boredom here and there's a lack of there's a lack of you, you're very intellectual okay so there's a lack of spontaneity there's a lack of being okay with not knowing, okay? There's a lack of that. It, it's a, this is a very smart person. This is a very, um, it, you leave little space to play with because you're so on top of things and you wanna check things out and and, and it, it can take the fun out of things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's see what else. I'm sorry. You have a lot of major arcana. That's telling me that what you're going through right now, whatever it is that you are avoiding, whatever it is that just recently happened, there's a there's a deep lesson here. Um, this is essential. There's no way around this. Either you face it or you can... You're going to face it regardless. You can either run from it or face it now and just get it over with, okay? But um, if you're trying to... If you're trying to play these two women, you're going to end up alone. So you, your best bet is to be honest with them. Go, you know, take that risk. I know that with the fool, you might be thinking like, ah, fuck them. You know what I mean? I'm not going to, that's not going to happen to me. You're going to end up alone. Um, and I don't think you want that. One of these women you want to marry. I feel like one of these women you can see yourself having as a wife. Um, the whole package, okay? Pisces, also with this chariot, I feel like this is somebody who needs, I feel like you need to get your life uh, going. You need to get your life moving. I feel like there's an external obstacle, some kind of, like I said, there's a situation you're avoiding. There's a tough decision that needs to get made. It might be involving these two women. It could be involving legalities. Maybe something happened with this big fight that went down with this five of swords. Um, it might be kind of nerve wracking for you. You might be just wanting to, like I said, play possum to avoid it, but um, you can't, okay? I feel like you might be daydreaming about how things could be and, and how good it's going to work out, and it's a very strong denial, okay? Um, you can overcome this, but you need to have, you can overcome it if you have the qualities that are needed for, you know, winning a war, um, willpower. Dima, what are you doing? Are you looking at the camera, boo boo? You cha cha boo boo, you cha cha boo boo, I love you. My little baby, cha cha boo boo. My little baby, I love you. You saw him just tripping out on the, on the camera. <laughs> um, Pisces, Pisces. You have like no water signs in your, you're out of your element because you have no water in your, in your pool. None. There's, you're very emotionally detached. You need to come back to feeling. I think your heart chakra is like, shoom. Are you, are you seizuring, boo, boo Your heart chakra is completely shut down. You may want to practice. Wow. You may really want to take some time and go within. Um, because when your heart chakra is shut down, then you're completely emotionless, which means that you're not realizing who you're hurting and what you're doing. And there's a lot of people that you're stepping on that you're affecting. You have absolutely no emotion here. I can't even imagine the people that you're hurting without even realizing it. Um, and you don't have the right to do that. Nobody does. Um, you need to really get a hold of yourself and take your issues into your own hands, okay? Um, I have something in my freaking eye. It's killing me. Ow. Oh, it hurts. Um... 
yeah, having said that, I mean, I feel like that's your reading. I feel like you may even be expecting to be a father because the lily is definitely <laughs> the lily is definitely the father figure card. So it could be you take, getting advice from a father figure or a teacher or a religious, uh, like a priest or something of that kind. Um, keep in mind that when you do that, it, some people believe that the Hierophant, when it comes to advice from an, uh, an older friend, sometimes the advice is not the best and you seem to think that it's, uh, you take it for gospel because if it's coming from a religious, you know, clergy member, you seem to feel like it has to be right. But some people believe that with this card, it means um, they make the advice to their liking. They take advantage of their position, of the trust that you have in them, okay? So this is really a time for you to think and be on your own for just a minute. Put things that have just happened into perspective and you make the decision that's best for you because nobody's advice is going to, nobody's gonna have to deal with the consequences except for you and those immediately around you. So you be the one to make the decision. There's a quote in the movie Indecent uh, Proposal where he goes, do it for your own reasons, uh, do it for your own reasons or don't do it. You know what I mean? Something like that. I wrote it down. It's so funny. I actually wrote it down. Do it for your own reasons or don't do it. Yeah, I said it right. So that's what I'm telling you guys. Do it for your own reasons or just don't do it. You know what I mean? Make This is the time for you to finally think for yourself. You guys are the most evolved sign, the most evolved water sign. You're very intuitive. Get back in touch with that intuition because I feel like you've shut it down. You're acting very earthy. You're acting very material driven, okay? There's a lot more to Pisces than that. That's not your element. You're like a fish out of water right now, which is why you're fucking flopping. Because get back in the fucking water. If you gotta drive to a fucking beach or an ocean, I don't give a fuck if you're getting your bathtub and put some salt in it. Get your ass in some kind of water so you can let that soak into your energy as well. You know what I mean? You guys will be okay. Good things are coming. These are the Lenormand, our prediction cards. So good things are coming. Keep an eye open for there's children involved. There's some kind of mother-child connection here with the Empress. Um, the stork in the tower. Yeah, there's some type of... Uh, stork is a good card. Uh, the tower could be an apartment you're moving into. It could be, um, like I said, a government building, a courthouse. Maybe you're going to get married at the courthouse even. You know, it could be that as well. It could be that person that you want to marry with that hair of fun. Maybe you guys are just going to go do it at the courthouse. Maybe you're going to just propose and do it, okay? Nonetheless, either way, abundance is coming. Changes in your finances are definitely coming. Not huge, but, you know, expect somebody to pay you back without you having to even remind them. Um, which is, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a huge amount of money, but it will be a small payback that you can definitely use, okay? And it's a good thing because you don't have to lose money to make money. That's good, okay? Make positive changes, Pisces, all right? I love you guys. Bye.